Keys in the City is a project that kind of piggybacks on uh, a worldwide phenomena that was started back in 2008 where artists would paint these pianos. These pianos were placed in public places for people to play during the summertime. And we decided earlier this year, 2015, to bring the project to Lansing in East Lansing. And in that course of time, we've placed 14 pianos in those two cities. It's just exploded with enthusiasm. Oh, it's been great. I mean, it's it's a, something that everybody enjoys. Everybody thinks is a great idea. It's the sort of thing that people maybe didn't think of might happen, but as soon as they see it, they're like, well, of course, a piano in a public place. How cool is that? You know, I can listen to people play, or I can play, or and, uh, what a great idea. What a great, you know, art, music kind of contribution to the culture of East Lansing and Lansing. The pianos that we used uh, were all donated pianos from the community. Uh, we found those primarily on Craigslist and uh, open invitation to people supporting the project. Two men in a truck were there to deliver the pianos. We really liked the idea of Keys in the City because it was something different. It was something that hadn't been done in this area. Our role at Two Men in a Truck was to pick up the donated pianos, store them at our storage unit during the winter, and then we took them out, delivered them to all of the artists who were able to then paint them, and then we delivered them to the streets um, for them to be in the Lansing area. So once we got the pianos, uh, we found the artists. The artists submitted their artwork, and uh, from there on, people have just been having a lot of fun painting these pianos. I wanted to do something that was gonna be part of the community, first of all, and that would showcase not only my art, but like a community of artists. I decided to paint Billie Holiday and Ella Fitzgerald. I wanted to go with the theme of Capital Area Blues, and I thought, hey, ladies of blues, that would be cool. The Wharton Center had so many programs that were involved, not only with the performances that they put on, but edu educational programs. So I kind of thought as, of every little area as a bit of storytelling. When we were approached by Keys in the City, we thought, what a perfect thing to do. Art, crafts, getting together with all different types of ages of people. We just thought it would be a good opportunity for some of our bigs and littles to really get out and involved and also to kind of get us visible out in the community as well. Uh, we've been in business, Triple Goddess Bookstore, for 22 years. I think it has impacted the store. We have surveys that we've taken and asked people what they liked and they mentioned that. Um, I think it has brought more foot traffic. Definitely every day. There's mm -hmm. always someone that stops by. It has been a place for people to talk about music and to share it, it seems like, and practice. Maybe a little bit out in public if they're a little shy. Mm -hmm. I get that feeling too. Mm -hmm. The thing that's most important to make a project like this successful is support from the entirety of the community. Everybody from the committee members, the merchants, Road Art Museum, Big Brothers Big Sisters, the Lansing Mall, and, uh, and then just the general public. We've all volunteered our time. So even on that level, it's a very community-oriented project, and I'm just incredibly thankful for these groups coming forward. Without them uh, and Two Men in Truck, this wouldn't be possible. We're looking for people that can support, that have an interest to come forward and help us on large and small levels. It's essential to something like this.